Bella gazed out at the bright blue sea. She loved walking gently up and down the sand, taking excited children for a ride. She loved hearing them laugh as they held their reins and jiggled them, making her bells tinkle. Bella remembered the days when she used to gallop up and down the beach, her bells ringing out loudly. Today, Bella did not feel like running about. She was happy to plod gently on her journey. She seemed to move slower each day and she wondered when it would be that she would stop completely. She felt sad that one day she would no longer see her friends and that they would be upset without her. As Bella's day on the beach came to an end, she turned and headed slowly home to her lovely cool house in the woods where she was surrounded by friends who loved her. As she wandered through the trees, Bella did not notice a ribbon on her harness which was holding her beautiful bells had become untied, leaving behind her a shiny trail of bells. Finally, Bella was home. She snuggled down in her bed of hair and closed her eyes. She was so tired that she fell into a deep sleep almost at once. She dreamt of running in the beach and splashing in the water. As morning came, Dog and Fox called for Bella, as they always did. It was then, with great sadness, that they saw Bella. They knew that she had died in the night, and with tears in their eyes and a ache in their hearts, they gathered all of those who loved Bella together to tell them the sad news. On hearing the news, everyone was upset. They wanted to remember Bella and talk about her together. So they decided that they would go to the place that she loved the most, the beach. They realised that there was a trail of beautiful bells waiting to be found. Bells that belonged to their dear friend Bella. They felt lost now so they huddled together and faced the sea. Gradually, they looked at the beautiful place around them and thought about how lucky Bella was to spend her days here. As they sat and talked, they began to notice things that reminded them of Bella. Rabbit pointed to the carrots that had been placed on the beach for the other donkeys. He smiled as he told his friends about his evenings with Bella how they would sit together as the sun was going down and how Bella would sneak back carrots from the beach to stir with Rabbit as it was his favourite vegetable. Tito, Cat and Dog, Fox and Badger giggled as they spotted a left of a football on the beach. They held tight onto their bells as they told their friends how they used to sneak down to the beach at midnight and play football under the moon. Bella would coach them and teach them new skills. They laughed as they remembered Bella running along, showing them how to use all four legs to dribble the ball up and down. Bird and Beaver held on to their bells as they spotted twigs all over the beach. They told their friends how every day Bella would collect twigs and bring them into the forest so that they can use them. They felt warm inside as they thought about every time they were safe in their homes. It was because Bella had helped them. Hearing the jingling bells in the early morning, there was a splashing out at sea as dolphin and fish swam towards the shore to see their friend Bella. Fox told them the sad news. Wise dolphin was sad at the loss of his friend and comforted fish, who had never lost a friend before. As fish spotted that fox had a bell, she told him the story that once Bella had lost one of her beautiful bells on the beach, and that her and dolphin had found it and returned it to her. They had been good friends ever since. Fox promised that she would now meet them every morning. She said that she was not replacing Bella, but she was honouring her memories. 
fox ran back to her friends. She felt good that she had given away her bell, as it had made her new friend happy. But she really wanted to keep it, like everyone else, so that she would always have a part of Bella with her. Bird went quiet for a moment and then looked up suddenly. She had an idea. On the edge of the wood stood a tree. It marked where the beach ended and the forest began. The tree seemed to know how important it suddenly was. At its feet lay a memory box, which they could all visit if they were feeling sad, to sit and remember, alone or with friends. Carefully tied to the branches by bird and squirrel, there were Bella's beautiful bells tinkling gently in the breeze. The sound comforted them and suddenly it was as if their dear friend was all around them as the sound of bells filled the air. Finally, the animals knew that it was their time to go home, back to the forest where it was safe. They knew they could visit their special treat any time they wanted and this made them feel happy. But what filled them with joy even more was that as they left, and as the gentle breeze began to blow, they could hear a beautiful sound. They could hear their beloved friend Bella on the breeze.